Welcome to Can I Spader Christmas. This weekend I thought that I could build a little frame for the sticks because they were, I mean, they were pretty close to being straight, but it was, I just wanted them to be a little bit straighter, a little easier to manage, and I thought I could build a frame for it. Now I went ahead and built the frame. I did all the stuff, set it up, and found something funny at the end. Now not funny ha ha, but well, take a look. While not perfect, it is much improved. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do was drill holes in here that I could slide the rebar through. This is 3 8 inch rebar and this is a half inch hole, so I figured if I move the holes out this way toward the PVC, the edge of the PVC, I could just slide these down in there, which worked. And then that would match up with the half inch PVC that I have on the back. So that would come down here like this. It would lock in with this PVC back here and it would kind of lock it in. So I did that at the top and I did it again at the bottom. The pieces of rebar that I had are not long enough. They're slightly shorter than the total height of the frame and I'd actually need uh, probably about an extra six to eight inches so that it would go in the ground and hold it. Because I didn't have rebar long enough to go into the ground and provide some stability for the whole frame, I decided to put temporarily a couple of back braces, uh, one on either end and then one in the center. Once I get to the home improvement store, I can figure out a better way to hold this up, but I needed something that would hold it up temporarily. So on either side, I put a piece of rebar, stuck it in the ground and duct taped it to the PVC. For the center section, another temporary solution. I did have one 10 foot piece of rebar left over, so I stuck it in the ground and duct taped it to the coupler that connects the two 10 foot pieces of PVC. So at this point, the frame seems to look fairly structurally good. And to hold each of the sticks into the frame, I've got these little quarter inch they're used for hanging suspended ceilings. They're like little steel rods, uh, about 10 feet long. So those were long enough. I could shove them in the ground at the bottom and then I could just bend them over at the top. So that holds the sticks into the frames and everything looks great. As a final test, I turned on the lights to see how everything looked to make sure all the connections were still good. And I noticed, oh, well, well looky here. We, We've got a pixel that's going out. Oh, look, there's, there's an, oh, there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Ah, look at there. Oh, there's another one. So at least half of the strings have at least one pixel that has a problem. That, that third stick has got a bunch of pixels that are out, but at least they're straight. They are straight. 
Now, those are the same pixels that are on the wall washer on the side of the house. So after I saw those pixels uh, having problems, I went and looked at the wall washer and it has the same issue. So these are um, less than a year old pixels, so I will not be using them. I may even contact Ray and see if there's uh, some issue with them, but um, probably be replacing the sticks with something else. Maybe calling James for a couple more chroma meshes. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I hadn't, hadn't figured that out. I'm probably not going to be putting a lot more work into that frame this year. And then also the pixels that are on the wall washer. So I have at least one in each of those three strings uh, is having an issue as well. So um, not real happy with that, but um, they're, they're out of here. So that's about it for this week. I hope you found some of this information useful. As always, if you have any questions, leave them below. Other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.